from Los Angeles. It's Flash Friday. It's not a reason. It's food bill. And now, here he is. Dom. Thank you for tuning in to Dom Lincoln's show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. The different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right wing macho or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our toll free telephone number. You're going to get this 1 800 500 Tom. 1 800 800 866. Tom, I can brought to you by the Girl Next Door Theaters today. Buy $500 in cash to a random car, maybe two this year. You make it up here. $500 in cash from the Girl Next Door, the other gut fantasy story, unless you cut 24 at the theaters today. Flash Friday on the Dow Like His Show. Headlight on and wherever you are. Headlight on, ladies. If you see a guy with his headlights on, you know what you have to do. You have to show him your breasts. Flash him. He flashes his headlights. You flash your breasts. And if you see a nice pair of knockers out there, you give us a call here. 1-800-5800-TOM is the toll-free telephone number. 1-800-5800-866. Got a nice set of knockers. You ought to be displaying them to our listeners. And uh, we are asking you to... Uh, Make a special effort to show your knockers today as a protest against federal control of broadcasting. People trying to tell us what we can say and do on the air. Go ahead. Show them, for God's sake. Wide open telephones on the Tom Like a Show. Anything goes, anything at all here. Toll free at 1 800 5800 Tom. It's 1 800 5800 8 6 6. Dean is hanging up on people like a mofo in there. He's uh, hanging up by well over 98% of the callers. So uh, he's ripping through. So if, if you've been trying to get through, he's hanging up on people so fast and furious, you actually have a shot at getting in. But you have to dial while I'm still speaking this sentence. And you have to have something to say. Don't even waste your time if you don't have something to say here, okay? 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Greg on the Tom Likey Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. First time caller, long time listener. Thank you. Um. I just, have you and Gavin Spittle got anything worked out about coming to Dallas? Uh, we don't have a date yet. We are uh, targeting September, and I think uh, that could happen. I'm looking very forward to it. I can't wait to get to Texas. I cannot oh, you're wait. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. And also, I am 100% behind you on this FCC stuff. I don't know whether Bush or Kerry, which one to vote for, because I don't know how to go on that. Yeah. Uh, well, it's, it's not just the presidency. It's also your senator, your congressman. Uh, I mean, remember, it's the Senate that's going to vote on this Indecency Act, and uh, then the House is going to vote on something. Well, Tom, have you heard about the uh, congressman that's running for election, or senator, rather, that it was has a picture of him being in, he's a cross-dresser? I didn't hear about that. Yeah, here in Texas, there is a guy running for senator. It's all over the news about him having, he's a cross-dresser. How could a guy like that win in, the, of all states, Texas? And he's a Republican. Well, that doesn't surprise me. Girl next door? <laughs> you know what? Hold on, Greg. You're a loyal listener. For God's sake, give 500. Uh, what are you going to do? There he goes. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's wide open telephones on the Tom Like It Show. Anything goes. We don't give a rat's ass what you call to talk about. We don't care. By the way, many of you sent us this story from Portland. <laughs> Thank you so much for sending this. This is from the website called OregonLive.com. And um, I'll just read you a little piece of this story. How could a woman who takes up some serious space in this world become invisible? She can wear slimming black, avoid horizontal stripes, and keep her fleshy knees and arms under wraps. Or she can break all the fashion rules at the annual Fat Girl Frock Swap and have a blast doing it. Organizer Stacy Bias said with a smile, we have the right to... Bare arms, B-A-R-E. Get it? Ha, ha. Those fat girls are jolly, I'll tell you what. Bias created the swap and sale of large-size women's clothing that took place last Sunday at Nocturnal Lodge in southeast Portland. Women picked through mounds of dresses. No pun intended, I guess. Tops and pants piled on tables. Every woman was allowed one free item for every three she donated. Additional items cost $3 each. Lee Berger, that's a good name for a fat chick, Berger, found a glittery mini dress. Nicole Hooper pulled a cute pair of jeans from one table. Hey, wait, she said, I brought these. Sherry Nice held up a sexy midnight blue lacy bra. 
Grr, she growled, and it's just my size. Scoring great clothes was secondary to having a good time. From the stage, the Fat Action Troop All-Star Spirit Squad. Wouldn't that be fat ass for short? I think it would. It's an informal group of pom-pom shaking, convention breaking, smile making women rallied the crowd with funny feminist cheers about body revolution. Lanelle Guiste read a poem about being a phone sex operator. Chelsea Lincoln read essays from her zine, including one about shopping for large size clothes while a sales clerk politely insists that her customer isn't fat. It's so rare to have a positive shopping experience as a woman of size, Baya said. That's why we are making it happen with the frock swap. The frock swap is just one of the events organized by people in Fat PDX. That's an acronym, which stands for Fat Action Troop of Portland. To help women feel comfortable in their own skin. The group once, mended, once rented Matt Dishman Pool in northeast Portland for a private party so guests could feel comfortable in swimsuits, has brought in performance groups dealing with body issues, and is looking into activities, art auctions, and sewing classes geared to large sizes. We're trying to cre create a community where people can feel comfortable, Bias said. We want to create and foster size acceptance in Portland. Can I tell you something, ladies? Men don't like fat chicks. We do not accept you. We want you to put your clothes back on, okay? And when we get to Portland, that's the message we're reinforcing. We're coming to Portland next Friday, ladies. And it's a little late to get on the treadmill now, but uh, you know what? Cover it up while we're there. Cover it up. Don't make me, uh, don't make me uh, put clothes on you. If I see any of that bare flesh uh, b b bobbling around out there, I swear I'm going to have a heart attack. I'm going to flip. I'm going to have a stroke. All these chicks want to bare their arms, bare their bellies. you got to be kidding me. We do not accept your size. Size acceptance is not going to happen. Nobody wants a fat chick. A couple of chubby chasers, maybe. That's it. got to be kidding me. Chicks, there's so many fat chicks in Portland. What's the deal there? What is the deal? Staying in, eating scones. <laughs> what are you doing? Ice cream, KFC. What are you doing, ladies? Anyway, wide open telephones on the Tom Like It Show. Anything goes, anything at all here. Go ahead and challenge me. Kick my ass. Tell me what a jerk I am. I don't care. I don't give a rat's ass. Just call me, goddammit. Tom Like It. one 800 5-800. Tom. I got a guy that was standing on the road. Yeah. And he knew I was talking to you, Tom. Oh, look at that. So, are you talking to Tom? Well, show him what he came for. Where's your headlights? He's standing on the street. He didn't have headlights. Show him. He's listening. That's the whole point. <laughs> show him what you got. Show him. He deserve it. Yes. Here you go, baby. Thank you, Tom. He said, thank you, Tom. <laughs> I love that. It's Flash Friday. Here you go, baby. On the Tom Likas Show. On the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's wide open telephones. Pam on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey, Pam. My husband listens to you religiously. He thinks you are the greatest. Great. But I have a question for you. Yes. Hey, I don't disagree with you about women. But I'd like to know, why don't you ever talk about fat guys? Because I'm a guy. I, women. I'm not really offended by fat guys. I, I'm a guy. Well, that's true. But but cool women are offended by fat guys. This is like you're offended by fat well, women. Then, then you're welcome to say what you like. But uh, me, I, I speak from my own point of view. Okay. I'm not, I'm, I'm not Dan Rather here. I'm not trying to keep this really, fair and balanced. You were, but you are the Dan Rather of the airwaves. No, I'm really not. You are, Kai. Uh, no, are. not even close here. Yeah, you are. Hey, you're on the air and, and your friend Howard isn't, right? So you're doing something right and he's doing something wrong. Howard is on the air. Howard Stern? Well, Howard Stern is getting his little butt kicked right now. Uh, you, you sound happy about it. I do. Why? I, actually, I'm not, because I, I believe in free speech, and he should be on the air, and he shouldn't be kicked off and fined $500,000 for what he does. No. No, he shouldn't. No, I agree with that. No, nor should anyone. Nope. If, if this is America and we're the land of the free, 
shouldn't. Well, I we're, we're the land of the morons, and well, that's uh, true, we're the land where we're happy to give up our freedom. We're, 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 we'll just happily hand it all over until one day we don't realize we don't have it anymore. That's right, but it's going to be too late then, I'm afraid. Yeah, I think you're right about that. But anyway, I just wanted to ask why you don't talk about fat guys, because they're pretty gross. I, you know what? If a woman would ever get a talk show and could get ratings with one, I'm sure she'll talk about that. But uh, in the meantime, uh, I'm a guy. I speak from a guy point of view. And guys object to fat chicks because fat chicks think they're all that. And they think guys should pay for everything just like uh, hot, thin chicks, which, of course, Thanks. why would anybody uh, buy dinner for a fat chick, please? Don't think it's going to happen. No. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> now, when am I supposed to attack fat guys? But My God, half the radio industry wouldn't be talking to me if I did that. Half the radio industry. 80%. 90%. The other 10% are fat chicks. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Dean is a hang up machine today. He's hanging up on more people today. So uh, this is your uh, lucky day if you're trying to call in because uh, he's freeing up phone lines like there's no tomorrow. Hanging up on everybody. People trying to win money. People asking questions about why they're not getting flashed. Whatever. You know, it is Flash Friday, by the way. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom. He's our telephone number. This is Alex on the Tom Likas Show. Tom. Hello, Alex. Hey, how's it going, Tom? Pretty good. Hey, I got a question for you. Coming up to Portland next week, and then you're going to be in sales the week after that. Are you going to be going back to L.A.? Or are you going to be well, going actually, to... actually, Portland uh, is two weeks before Seattle, I believe. Okay. And so, uh, no, we're going to be in Portland for several days and come back to L.A., and then we'll uh, then return to go up to Seattle. Okay, is Dino finally going to come with you to Seattle this time around? Or no, no, stay? no. Dino has to screen calls. Dean will come to Seattle with us, as he always does in July when we come up. Ah, but good our time. April trip, uh, he stays home and screens calls. That's too bad for him. He's going to miss out on some good times. Well, uh, you know what? Uh, we've always had good times. Uh, you know, we're in our 10th year on the buzz. Our 10th hey. year. Our 10th anniversary is in September. I've been listening for about five, so it's been a great time. And yeah. You coming. We've always had a good time. We will always have a good time. Seattle is definitely our second home. Well, I appreciate you being on the air, Tom. Keep it up. And uh, could you take me out George W. Bush style? What would that be? Uh, drunk driving. Oh, drunk driving? Like a car screeching or something? All That's right. right. All right, here you go. George W. Bush style. That that could be uh, George W. Bush or his uh, two lovely daughters. Those lovely uh, chunks of flabby arms there. They have those Hillary Duff arms, you know, those big flabby arms. You know, I thought Hillary Duff, when she was like 13, 14, I thought she was going to be really hot, you know, like, kind of like the Olsen twins. And uh, nothing could be further from the truth. She's got, she got arms like Papa, big, fat arms, big, fat, flabby arms. She's a piggy piggy. I can't take my eyes off. I mean, she's. I mean, where did she go wrong? She's a piggy piggy. Oh my god! You know, I got you know. Come on, come on, all you pedophiles out there! You all watch uh, these uh, like Disney Channel and stuff, and check out these uh, chickies there with like twelve, thirteen, fourteen, kind of scouting for the future. It's got to be a baseball scout. You scouting talent, like everybody scouted out the Olsen twins years ago. You scout them out, right? And I saw that Hillary Duff. I said, this is going to be one hot piece of ass one day. Oh, my God. And now that she's, what, 17? Oh, my God. I, her arms are, like, fat. Fat. Unbelievable. I saw her singing on some show. I don't know what it was. I, I could not believe her arms. You could sell space on those arms. Are you kidding? You could do product placement. You should have stuck a big Sarah Lee logo on there, since that's probably how they got that way. Please, look at that. <laughs> wow. Anyway, Hillary, Hillary, Hillary. Jenny Craig, something. Come on, let's go. 1-800-5800-TOM. I'd, I'd hate to uh, undermine Hillary Duff's self-esteem at this tender age. Just because she's fat and millions of people are watching, those arms get bigger all the time. Don't, Hillary, don't worry. Don't, don't. Just chill, dear. And I'll tell you what, that was one fantasy I had that has evaporated. Hillary Duff. Just amazing. 
1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Uh, it's Travis on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, I have a question. Yes. Um, how come the college radio station can say whatever, like, bad words they want on the air if they don't get in any trouble for that? Uh, they're not supposed to, uh, but uh, the fact is that the, your local college radio station is more likely to have college students listening, uh, not adults. And uh, adults are the ones who write the, you know, don't I say adults, I mean older adults. And uh, they are um, less likely to have the kind of people who complain tuning in. Yeah. Because, like, up in Santa Barbara, they have, like, full-on, like, hip-hop battles on the air. Yep. And they say just everything, like. Yeah. Well, if somebody complained, uh, they would be in the same trouble as the FCC uh, puts uh, commercial stations. Yeah. But it's just like we talked about uh, another time on the show, Spanish language radio. Here in L.A., we have got a shock jock in Spanish uh, doing a morning show, and he um, he regularly says stuff much worse than Howard Stern. And uh, people who uh, speak Spanish don't write complaint letters, apparently, and the FCC doesn't have any uh, interpreters or translators, apparently. So there's two sets of rules. i, I got to learn Spanish then, I think. Well, you do whatever you like to. <laughs> All right. Sweetie. Thank you. Lot 800 5800 Tom. Yeah. Learn Spanish so you can write complete letters to the FCC. Okay. Okay, darling. It's Sarah on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm okay, Sarah. Good, good. My question is, if you think fat women are so disgusting, do you encourage them to take part in Flash Friday? Well, put it this way. They're, they're, you know, I, we, we encourage everybody to show their loyalty to the Tom Likas Show, but I must say... When the uh, flabby, flabby, flabby ones uh, start uh, flopping out those flippity floppers. I'll tell you what, uh, a lot of guys uh, call up and complain about it. And is it against the law? What if the cops saw them? Can they get a ticket? Every cop, uh, by the way, the police officers of every community we're on are our biggest fans. So uh, I don't know of anybody who's gotten a ticket. In fact, the cops have called in here and said, please, if you see a cop car, please flash us. And, and, we, will, and we won't do anything. What's your view about small-breasted women flashing? Should they not bother? Oh, no, they should bother. I have no problem with small breasts. Small breasts are fine. Uh, they just have to be nice breasts. Uh-huh. I, if they're small, that's okay. Okay. Well, I'm a medium-time listener, first-time caller. How are your breasts? Uh, medium. Medium? <laughs> Can I ask you about the girl next door? Can you ask me about it? Can, the film? What about it? Uh, about $500. Oh, you don't care about the film. You wanted the $500. Yeah, I've just moved here. It would be really useful to me. All right. Where did you move from? From from London. Oh. We're going to pay it in dollars, though, you understand. I understand. Okay. <laughs> All right, Sarah. Hang on. $500 from the girl next door. It's in theaters beginning today. The Tom Likas Show. This is the Tom Likas Show. From Los Angeles at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Wide open telephones. It's Flash Friday. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Did you get the number? 800-5800-TOM. Misha on the Tom Likas Show. Tom, help me. There is... You wouldn't believe what Portland is like up here. You have to come up here. It is so, it's like Miss Piggy everywhere. I'm not kidding. Yeah, I mean, I can't believe there are people worried about size acceptance. I mean, I'm so uh, glad you're talking about this because something has to change. It's like, I'm, it's like everybody is constantly on my back since I came up here two weeks ago to make me gain weight. So are you not from Portland? No, yeah, I'm from L.A., and I came up to visit my little sister who's, you know, doing spring break up here uh, at PSU. Yeah. And it's like, I am like like 119 pounds. I'm 5'7". I am not like a stick. But everyone just, women in line at the grocery store, ew, ew, your, your arms are so thin. They're like sticks. I mean, it's, and I'm not like that at all. Yeah. And it's like, it's freaky. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. I know. Believe me, uh, we've been to Portland, not not in the last five years. We've been to Portland uh, many times. So. I'm so glad you're coming up, and I just, I, I just, I'm, I want to see you when you come up. Oh, really? I am so happy you're coming up here. Hopefully, I know a lot of people listen to you, and hopefully, and see, because guy, guys get into it, too. They say, oh, yeah, I like a rump roast. I like a really, really big girl. And I'm like, why? What choice do they have in Portland? Well, I guess that's it. They get brainwashed. But... Yeah. I mean, I'll believe there's hot chicks when they start sending us pictures. 
Yeah. And because we're we're offering to let the hot chicks into our show on the guest list, just get them in the back door. Oh, cool. Uh, That's totally cool. Oh, and I wanted to tell you this other thing that I told Dean, that I reported Dr. Laura to the FCC because two weeks ago she said something on the air that Stern wouldn't be able to get away with, you wouldn't be able to get away with, and I'm like, she got away with it, and it was so disgusting what she said. It, it gave me the creeps. Really? So yep. you documented it and sent it I in? I documented it, and I sent it in. Wow. She ain't going to be talking about... The, I think it's the seven or eight letter word that begins with C anymore. She was telling this older lady in her 60s how to do it to herself in extreme detail. Really? Yeah. And I was like, it was right after Stern got, you know, I was having all his problems. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm like, I can't believe it. It's almost like she was going out of her way to be like as dirty as possible. Wow. But, you know, you don't want Dr. Laura to be dirty. It's just. It, it's just creepy. <laughs> but I just love you, Tom. I just want, I just hope everybody's listening to you because you are awesome. Oh, thank you. And Misha, now, are you coming to our event uh, next Friday? Absolutely. Do you have I'm tickets? stuck up here. Oh, yeah. You I got have to. You got to come to the event. Are you hot? Yeah. You are? Obviously. Everybody's giving me crap up here. I know you're thin, but are you hot? Yes, I'm very hot. What do you look like? I look like, hmm, who do I look like? Um, my boyfriend says I'm a cross between Pamela Anderson, only I'm sh I think I'm shorter than her because I'm 5'7", and Britney Spears, but I'm thinner than Britney Spears, so. Wow. Nice I knockers? My legs aren't as chunky. Oh, really? Nice knockers? Yeah, but they're not huge. That's they don't have to be huge. It's have to be nice. Yeah, they're very nice. Really? Oh, yeah. I was slashing them today when I was coming home. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Well, you talk to Dean, and uh, he's going to arrange for you to send a picture. And then uh, if, you, if, you, if you're if you as hot as you say, we'll get you in the back door. Oh, cool. All right, next Friday. Thank you. All right, hang on there. Misha, hot chick from L.A. She says she's stuck in Portland, and all these uh, people are telling her she's too thin. Well, we'd like to get a look. <laughs> Wide open telephones on the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. Anything goes. Leon, hello. How you doing, sir? Okay, Leon. Oh, man, I have to tell you, I'm a big fan. I've been listening for about three years. I'm calling from Baltimore. I'm in law enforcement. I work on the uh, Marine unit down here on the water. Uh -huh. And I tell you, man, we get flashed all the time. Really? And it's, I think there's no self-respected man that would have a problem with that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I've never heard of a police officer pulling a woman over. Oh, citing her for showing him her breasts. Oh, no, sir, not at all. I tell you, I, I've had a lot of cases. I, I, I just say thank you. <laughs> you know? Exactly. Going, you know? that's Exa right. Well, that's why we tell the chicks, especially, you know, some of the uh, patrol cars now, they're putting their headlights on. Oh, of course. Of uh, course. I tell you, are you familiar with the Preakness, right? Yes. Okay, well, the Preakness takes there's an infield down there where they have the big parties and all. Right. Well, you usually have about, I guess, about 60, 70 police down there. Years ago, they used to have the uh, show you, you know what's inside of their hats, and they would just turn them out and uh, let the... Uh... I love that. Oh, man, I tell you, it was great. I tell you, and I, I think it still goes on a little bit, but uh, they kind of tighten the reins up on us as far as, you know, certain things that we're allowed to do. You know what I mean? <laughs> but you guys are on the same wavelength we are. That's why That's why cops are our number one audience. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You got a big, you got a big fan base here in Baltimore. I hope you come here very soon. I think that's spectacular. And, uh, Leon, I am looking forward to coming to Baltimore. No doubt. I was just in Baltimore, as you know, a few weeks ago. Oh yeah, see, I, 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 I must have been one of the times I wasn't listening. Well, I didn't, I didn't make an appearance. I just, I came to the station and uh, hung out for a while, and I uh, was also oh, in D.C. and uh, I, I had a blast, and I'm looking forward to coming back and doing the show. Oh man, it'll be great to have you here, man. I tell you, Leon, thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You got any more money for us? No, nope, all the money been given, Leon. But thank you for asking. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Boy, it's great to talk to you, man. You're like therapy for me. Thank you. It's the Tom Likas Show. Like it Show. Wide open telephones here at 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show brought to you by, by the girl next door. It's in theaters tonight. And uh, thanks to the girl next door for providing all that cash to all our listeners. Hope they're enjoying it. And don't forget the girl next door. And don't forget us. The girl next door, the ultimate guy fantasy starring Alicia Cuthbert from 24. It's in theaters beginning tonight. 1-800-5800. By the way, all the money's been given away. So stop calling about money. Stop calling us and asking uh, if you're going to get flashed at some point today. Okay? Those are the two things. 
We will not put your call on the air, okay? If you're asking for money or you want to know when you're going to get flash. <laughs> Other than that, anything at all at 1-800-5800-TOM. Uh, this is Jim on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Well, hello, Tom. Hello, Jim. Hey, man, long time, second time. Thank you. Hey, just want to let you know, I am. Uh, I work in television production. I work at the studio where you did one of your pilots. Yeah. Just want to let you know, I, I saw pieces of it in editing. I'm not one of the suits, so I don't get the privilege of seeing anything in its entirety. Yeah. But it rocked. People in that building that have been doing television forever that could care less, they were dying laughing in that control room when that show was going on. It was agreed by a number of guys that's the best-looking coolest thing we've ever done there but of course nobody's got the maracas to put it on the air yeah that uh, that's of course you know, i thank you for telling that story because i've tried to tell this story on the air but because i'm the guy it it, it has so much more credibility coming from somebody else it rocked the content the ideas plus you're a real pro man i mean because sometimes those those shoes go wrong you were cool the whole way man it, it just rocked your entrance in the studio it was great man thank Love you, you. Thank you very much, Jim. <laughs> it feels really good. Thank you. <laughs> hey, maybe one day we'll get on cable or something. Who knows? You yeah, never know. Yeah. Jim, thank you so much. How cool is that? That huh? was at Telepictures. We did our last two pilots at Telepictures. And um, I made a lot of great friends there and had a lot of fun and learned a lot. But uh, this kind of stuff we talk about on the air, it's just uh, TV is a chick's world, man. That's the deal. It's sad but true. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom Michael on the Tom Likas show. Hey Dad, how are you? Hi, right, son. <laughs> hey, you heard about uh, J Lo's mom winning the uh, jackpot, right? Uh, yeah, it was in Vegas, right? Uh, I think it was Atlantic City. Was it Atlantic City? Now you heard what she did right before she, uh, you know, pulled the uh, the arm, right? I don't remember. She prayed for the money. She prayed for the money. Yes. Oh, God. How, how can uh, a mom, like, you know, J-Lo's mom, you know, with all that money that J-Lo's making, be praying for money? Does she really need the money? Uh, you know what? Uh, one thing I found after I got money, you never have enough money. Everybody wants more. Uh, I didn't understand that, especially, you know, from uh, us, you know, uh, not believing in God. I, I want to tell you something. Uh, yeah, and by the way, I, uh, praying for money is stupid because why would God give it to you? And many prayers go unanswered meaning it really doesn't make any difference. But besides all of that, you know, when I was poor, I always thought, you know, if I had a million dollars, that's it, I'm retiring. I'm done. Don't need to work. Once I get the million, that's it. Then I got a million. Did I stop? No. When I got to two million, did I stop? No. I, get, I just keep going. Right. Hey, Dad, you're the best. Keep it up. Michael, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Appreciate the call. It's toll-free here. It's 1-800-5800-TOM on the first Flash Friday of the summer. 1-800-5800-866. It's wide open telephones. Anything goes here. Anything at all. I don't give a rat's ass what you called in to talk about with me. Danny on the Tom Likey Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Danny. Love your show. Thank you. Hey, I'm up here in uh, Portland, Oregon. Yes. And a few weeks ago, or maybe it's a couple of days ago, I can't remember anyway, you had a show on about the smoking ban down there. In California? Yeah. Yeah. Well, they put a smoking ban out here in the workplace, okay? Oh, really? Yeah. Does that include bars and restaurants? It, yes, sir, it does. Wow. No smoking in Portland bars and restaurants. Wow. That's hard to imagine. Now I got a story. People in Portland smoke like chimneys. Yeah, no doubt. I am a truck driver, and being a truck driver, I'm in my workplace basically 12 to 14 hours a day. Right. I went through the weigh station, which is where they weigh us, and make sure we're legal. And I go in there, and I knew I was legal. I knew I was, you know, not in any way breaking any laws. They pull me in. I go in there, and I said. May I ask why you pulled me in? He says, you heard about the new law? I said, yes, sir, that's my home. He said, no, ma'am, anything in front of the curtain is your workplace. I can give you a ticket. Wow. I said, officer, I hate to say it, but you better take me to jail because I'm going to fight you all the way there. Did you go to jail? No. <laughs> what happened? Oh, he just said, well, I'm going to drop her for this time. I said, well, um, can you tell me something then? 
when you drive your car, I see the pack of cigarettes in your pocket, you smoke in it. He goes, well, yeah. I said, well, that's your workplace, isn't it? He goes, well, yeah. I said, well, then get off my back. Wow, I, that's that's unbelievable. Uh, th this is uh, going to make for some very interesting uh, arguments, I think. Yeah, I think so, too. I, by the way, I think smoking should be uh, legal in bars everywhere, including Los Angeles. I think this idea of banning smoking in bars is ridiculous. Uh, people I are, agree. Uh, bars are not health clubs. People are not going in there to uh, do deep breathing exercises or yeah, yoga exactly. or something. They're, they're in there to do uh, basically uh, dangerous, risky things. Yeah. That's what they're there to do. Well, welcome to Portland when you come. Thank you, Danny. Can't wait to see ya. I can't wait to be there, baby. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. You have a nice rack? I do. How nice is it? I'm an A, baby. An A cup. A team. More than a mouthful is a waste. Sounds to me like you don't even have a mouth. The Tom Likas Show. On... Show. Wide open telephone to 1 800 5800. Tom, now's your time to dial in. I don't have any money for you. You call in just for the sheer joy of talking to millions of people. Zella on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Oh my God, are you serious? Is this Tom Likas? Yes. Tom, this is a dream come true for me. How so? I've always wanted to talk to you. Really? Well, here we are. Yeah. Would it be wrong if I said that I've always wanted to try and change you? Change me how? Change my diaper? Well, you still wear them? Every now and then. Okay, that's good. So, yeah, I'm, I'm calling because I'm concerned. I'm, I'm a concerned listener. What are you concerned about? Well, I want to make the world a better place. Uh-huh. And how do you plan to do that? Well, you know, I've been I've been writing, you know, kind of sending out emails, checking people's opinions opinions out about your show. I listen a lot. I listen to you. I listen to your callers. And I'm I'm my concern is that I think that a lot of the things that you say are very true, but it only speaks to one aspect of ourselves. And I think that we have higher parts to our being which you don't always affirm. Like what? Our ability to love one another. Uh, that doesn't make for compelling radio. I know. You see, I'm in the business of selling advertising. I know, I know. You've heard know, about that, I right? Know, That's what we I do. Know, I know, I know. So uh, topics like world peace and uh, higher understanding. Or... Let's get people talking about sex. But sex in a, in, I mean, do you, have, do you know what kundalini energy is? No. Kundalini energy is, is it's, it's, the symbol of it is a coiled snake that lives in the abdominum. Mm -hmm. And when you awaken this energy, yeah. it's extremely pleasurable and orgasmic. I see. Anybody there at the time? Um, sometimes yes, sometimes no. Okay. So, um, but I love, I love orgasms. Who doesn't? Well, see, because I think, though, that, um, like, for instance, I'm making a T-shirt, and it says I'm a recovering object. And, like, my concern is that sometimes your show affirms way of relating to each other as objects rather than human beings. And that's mm. the part that I get concerned about. Well, uh, really, the only interest men have in women is nail it. Is, is, I know, you know, can I tell you, I met a little mini Tom Likas the other night, and we had drinks. It was the best night in the entire world. I never have reached comic genius until I had little Tom Likas sitting there with me. I'm like, this is perfect. <laughs> and his name, by the way, no, I, maybe I shouldn't say. But, um, so he, uh, yeah, I mean, he, he feels, I mean, he definitely has a spiel like yours. And I sit and I listen. And for a while, because I've been wounded and hurt in my life by mm. men or this or that, yeah. you know, for a while I had anger in me and so things like that would bother me. Now I understand, I accept. But it's so limited. That's the problem. It's so, there's so much more. So much That's more. That's the problem. Yes. And so you say it doesn't make interesting radio. It doesn't make good radio. Well, dude, ask me some questions. Let's make interesting radio right now. 
Because I'm pretty cool. I don't know anything about you. You want to know? I don't think so. Oh. I don't think anybody wants to know. I think we know everything we need to know. She's an idiot. Everything. Eugene, what do you want to say to Zella here? All right, this lady is completely out of her mind. It's impossible to even comprehend anything she's trying to say. I'm, I'm having a hard time even listening to her. Uh, uh, we're going to solve that problem right now. The Tom Likas Show.